of threats, errors and largely undesired aircraft states, which are a consequence of basically mismanaging the threats and all the errors. What's a threat? A threat to me is anything that takes me away from my ideal day. Ideal day, I go out, it's cab okay, traffic conditions are moderate, not too heavy, so there's not a lot of aircraft around. I'm quite familiar with the aircraft type and proficient and current, etc. Anything that takes me away from that ideal is a threat to me. Now that's a very simplistic version, but that then can lead, if I take away from my ideal, from the ideal day, to increased errors. People in, in single pilot GA environment might think, oh, it doesn't apply to me, but everything you do is about threat and error management. Um, you're identifying threats, whether you're consciously identifying them or subconsciously, and you're managing those situations. All right, well, we're 10 minutes late already. If you're happy, mm. we'll call uh, Flight Watch Top of Client. Yeah, I think we have to do, OK? Managing time is important for good threat management, but even more significantly is the need to avoid the distractions uh, or avoid the threats. If you can't avoid the threats, you need a strategy in place to mitigate those threats. Threat and error management for me is, is literally at the start of every flight asking myself why am I going to be standing in front of either the CFI or having to put something into a safety database or having to fill out some paperwork for Air Services Australia or for the Civil Aviation Safety Authority related to one of my errors. What's going to catch me out today? What is it? What's out there? Now the obvious ones might be the weather. So if I'm in the pre-planning phase, I've identified there's some bad weather en route, that's a threat that has the potential to, uh, to increase my workload. And if I can start coming up with strategies to address a known threat, then I'm more prepared before I even get airborne in maybe what types of decisions I need to be making and, and what actions I will, uh, I will use to mitigate that threat. Our, our fog policy is one, one policy we've put in place that has taken a lot of pressure off the flight crews. It's reduced the risk and it's reduced a lot of the error factor that could have come into making assessments of weather and a, pro and, a, and a pilot's having then to attempt approaches into marginal weather. Threat and error management is um, a significant part of the training for our flight crew, uh, largely about identifying that errors are going to occur on the flight deck and we try to have our crews focus on capturing those error errors before they become part of an incident or at worst a, an accident. In relation to threats, we uh, clearly advise our crew when they're starting that threats are everywhere. They can be from weather to other activities that are occurring on the, uh, the airport, aerodrome vicinity, maintenance uh, that's occurred on the, on the aircraft, and even down to the more high level threats that, uh, that aren't physically in their face every day. For example, fatigue, uh, pers person's home life, and how they actually impact on their ability to function on a day-to-day -day activity. It's also about preempting uh, potential situations uh, and managing those threats. Um, weather forecast, perfect example. You know that's managing a threat. You're identifying what the forecast is and planning the flight around that forecast. It's as simple as that.